Hello, fight fans, and welcome to Fight News Now Extra. I'm John Pollock, and we're chatting all of the news in mixed martial arts with John Ramdeen and Robin Black joining me in just a couple of minutes. In the news today, YouTube is launching a UFC subscription channel. Leonard Garcia has found a new home, while Mark Hunt is stranded at home. UFC heavyweight Mark Hunt has been having some difficulty leaving New Zealand for the U.S. in preparation for his fight with Junior Dos Santos coming up on May the 25th. Hunt was twice denied entry onto a plane and explained to MMAFighting.com that it was due to a 2002 arrest. However, the UFC has been contacted and are working on the issue, and Hunt could be in the U.S. by the time you are hearing this. The recently released Leonard Garcia is changing his surroundings and leaving Team Jackson Winklejohn and going to Sacramento, California to work with Team Alpha Male. The group is on an impressive streak right now with Dwayne Ludwig joining the team this past January. Garcia also tells MMAfighting.com that he has received offers from both Bellator and World Series of Fighting. And Google-owned YouTube has announced the launch of subscription channels, one of which will be a UFC channel where for $5.99 per month, you will have unlimited access to select fights, events, television series such as The Ultimate Fighter, and more. And we are joined by John Ramdeen and Robin Black, all of us color-coordinated today. No one died, so that's okay, including the heavyweight fight between Mark Hunt and Junior Dos Santos, which uh, temporarily some headaches for Mark Hunt just getting out of New Zealand, but the UFC is on it, and I don't think there, there are going to be any issues with Mark Hunt fighting JDS May the 20th. Yeah, the, the biggest thing is that Mark Hunt has to get this dealt with, this type of thing that's happened with fighters in the past. If, you know, some of the things that you go through, you know, climbing the ranks, whether it be an assault charge or whatnot, get that stuff, stuff dealt with because you could find it inconveniencing you in the future. But, you know, even if this fight didn't happen between Mark Hunt and Junior DeSantos, UFC 160 is absolutely stellar. You have the main event between Cain Velasquez and Bigfoot Silva. You have Donald Cerrone, KJ Nunes, TJ Grant versus Gray Maynard. The list goes on and on. Really, the UFC has done a fantastic job with this card. And again, this heavyweight fight is just a bonus. Yeah, it, it is a great card, but I, I want to see this fight, man. They got to save this fight. And it, it's interesting. Athletes, for some reason, get in trouble. Football players, basketball players, baseball players, fighters, they all kind of get in trouble. And in this case, it sounds like from 2002, it's kind of a mix up. He ended up getting maced by a cop, but I'm sure he did nothing wrong. <laughs> but uh, it sounds like I think they're going to clear it up and, and the fight will be on. Well, and, looking and ahead to, to this heavyweight title bout, uh, recently this week, uh, Dave Meltzer was reporting the numbers for John Jones and Chael Sonnen, around 520 to 550,000 Which is excellent, buys. in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I was curious, what you guys thought. I think a very good number, considering what, what this was built up to be, and I think that to call this number a failure, I think is crazy. I think the number is solid, but it's along the lines of how many people tune in to see any John Jones fight. And I think they were thinking that Chael Sonnen, with all of his hype and all the other stuff, might inflate that. But definitely You didn't not really get that build, though, off Ultimate Fighter and the buildup. I mean, it wasn't the Chael Sonnen that you saw building up the Anderson Silva fight. You didn't have that grudge element that the, the two Silva fights And did. Jones just wouldn't play along. Like, the guy just wasn't going to play and, the And game. quite frankly, Chael Sonnen didn't play along either. He was playing the nice guy on the show. He was a great coach. He wasn't talking the smack that we're used to seeing Chael Sonnen because he had vested interest in the fighters, and he was there to really help them. So much so that John Jones said he was impressed with the way Sonnen carried himself on the it, show. It's really crazy that it is such a part of this sport now that we're analytically discussing how he changed the way he acted. I think that's fascinating. What do, you, what do you feel just a couple of weeks out, Cain Velasquez and Antonio Silva? I think that this one, I don't think it's going to do, you know, 520, for instance. I think this is a hard fight to sell to people a year after when you have that first fight so vividly in the back of people's minds. But I think that, you know, clearing 400, I think, is certainly attainable. Yeah, I agree. And again, it's the heavyweight championship of the world. And, you know, what we know from combat sports fans is they absolutely love the big guys. And they love legitimate number one big guys. And there's, without question... Cain Velasquez is the number one guy at the heavyweight division. Uh, but Bigfoot Silva, he's the guy that can throw a wrench into your plans. He did it with the Fedor yeah. fight in the Strike Force Grand Prix and Travis Brown and Alistair Overeem. So if anybody can do it, Bigfoot Silva, because it seems that a lot of people count this guy out uh, except for him and his team. So he's going to come in well prepared and give uh, Cain Velasquez a hell of a fight. After Velasquez looked amazing against Dos Santos, uh, if he hadn't already caved in the face of Bigfoot, this would be an enormous pay-per-view. But the fact that he's already beaten him so soundly, I think makes it a little more challenging to sell. But Velasquez is so legit and he's so for real. I think you got to tune in and watch him fight no matter who he's fighting. 
Let's move over and chat a bit about Leonard Garcia. Earlier this week, he was cut by the UFC following five straight losses within the UFC organization, uh, changing up the, his scenery, leaving Team Jackson Winklejohn and going over to Team Alpha Male, which has been just firing on all cylinders this year. Um, I, I think you can't really argue with this, that you, know, you, you have to change some things up if you're Leonard Garcia. The thing is, I mean, I'm sure Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn, when it's time for Leonard Garcia to step inside of the cage, they do not tell him, to throw with reckless abandon. They probably have a game plan to say, look it, you can't continue to win fights based on the way that you're fighting. You have to listen to us, and that is to settle down and play the smart game. But he doesn't do that. He says, look, this is the way I get fans, and this is the way I get fight of the night bonuses, by going out and fighting my style of fight. Well, this, I mean, if you're a 135 or 145 pound fighter anywhere, you gotta join this team. This would be where you wanna be. You got all the best guys, you're gonna spar with them on a daily basis, and they're going to repair the mistakes that you have. And Bang Ludwig right now is the type of guy who can make two or three small changes to this guy and take advantage of all the things he has. I'm telling you, if man. If he listens if, to him. If he listens to him. But if you're a smaller weight fighter, you go and you join this team. Yeah, what, what does your gut tell you? Do you feel that Leonard Garcia, the rest of his career, is going to be kind of fighting for your World Series of Fightings? Do you think that a UFC return is in the books for this guy? I mean, it is, this is late in his career. I think it just comes down to ego. And yes, like Robin said, if he listens to Dwayne Ludwig and the guys at Team Alpha Male and changes his style, he could make his way back to the yeah, UFC. Two big wins. Not, yeah. Yeah, a couple big, big wins. wins. All right, that is all for us, but we've got more of Fight News Now Extra. It is coming at you, so don't go anywhere.